So uh, we're just architects and we're currently 3D printing a kennel house. The thing is we were already printing with these smaller printers for a long time. Um, but as architects, we were thinking, what would this actually mean for architecture? What if you really could 3D print buildings? We can really recycle waste materials into printable materials, eliminate large transport costs, really make unique and personalized architecture. You can print buildings and then just shredder them and then print them anew. And then we said, let's just do it. So we went to Ultimaker, the, the, the guys who made the small printers, and we said, can we build, make a printer with which we can build a house? We bought a container from the internet and we transformed it in one of the biggest printers on this planet. The Kamermaker, or actually means room builder. And when it was finished, we already put it in the front yard of our office. Actually opening up the whole research and development of the printer, uh, inviting everyone to just see and come and make comments and put IDs and in that way donate to the project. For the first time in history, over half of the world's population is living in cities. We need actually a rapid building technique um, to keep up the pace of the growth of the mega cities. And we think 3D printing can actually be that technique to provide good housing for the billions of people on this planet. We think camera markers can actually be built around the globe to print solutions that respond to local contacts with local materials. So our context is Amsterdam. And 400 years ago, Amsterdam was also rapidly growing, which actually led to the constructing of the canal belt. We see the Amsterdam canal belt actually as one of the first global networks. And today, the internet is this global network. Now we are looking into the future of city making. Can we build a canal belt of the future? And why a canal house? Well, what we like about the canal house topology um, is not only the ornamented facade, but especially its program. It was always a place for trade, living, working, storage, and open to the world. With the Kama marker, we are printing each room, room by room. So the rooms we're currently designing, you can soon just download them online, assemble them digitally into your favorite house design, just attach materials to it and then just press print. This makes architecture really personal again and it really bridges the gap between designer, client and builder. So for us the project is also really about how uh, the internet and the social networks uh, can actually be influential in city making. We re really see 3D printing as a new craft. The rooms are first tested on the small printers, and once the file is completely finalized, we send it to the big printer. Because the technique in the small printers is exactly the same as in the big one, we can use the same files. So the innovation is not only in the technique, but it's also in the design. So the rooms we build consist of elements in which we combine ornaments, structure, inner facade and outer facade in one. Uh, we can change the design according to different parameters. Uh, and just imagine that uh, you can print so with solar panels for instance, and suddenly you can really position the house so that it's uh, oriented towards the sun and your house really becomes one big power plant. We started printing with plastics because that's the material that works best with this FDM printing technique. So we're currently developing a new bio-based 3D printing material that's really especially made for 3D printing architecture that's both really sustainable, strong and beautiful. It's really research and design by doing. We continuously improve the design, which has an effect on the printer, which has an effect on the materials, which has an effect on the structure. Um, and this is really an iterative process that we continue to develop with all the partners for the upcoming three years in a very open manner. What we want to achieve with this project is really to take production out of the factory into the city and really show to people that they can actually be part of production again. A house relates to all kinds of different sectors and all these different sectors really contribute to the project. The building site of the 3D print kennel house is a real exhibition open to everybody. So everybody is welcome to come and visit us and see how we built a house.